we're stopped like this, you are welcome to stand up. You can go out on the back deck. You can come up front here to take pictures. Just don't go out on the bow, please. And the big one there is Denali, meaning the high one, also known as Mount McKinley. It stands at 20,320 feet. And then uh, to the left of that, that's Mount Hunter, and that stands at 14,500 feet. And then the far left is Foraker, and that stands at 17,100 feet. And we're currently about 80 miles from the, the summit of McKinley there. And as I said, it stands at 20,320 feet. We're at about 300 feet above sea level. So you're looking at a uh, 20,000 foot vertical rise when you see the sun. The Alaska Railroad will parallel this river for approximately 50 miles. To the left of the vessel is called Wilderness. On the right, there are no services, roads, facilities, or anything like that in there, but there are some homesteaders. And these people right here are homesteaders. amazing and they're actually able to do that by their sense of smell. They can smell the different waters and they can return to that exact place of their birth. Now they will die after spawning. They stop eating when they come up here and um, female will lay her eggs in the bank. A male will come along fertilize them. They'll fight the current as long as they can but eventually they'll kind of be taken away. They'll die and you'll have dead salmon all over the banks of this river. They'll start to stink pretty bad. The, uh, the first to come in are the Kings. Those are running right now. They're also known as Chinooks. Average around 30 pounds in this area. Uh, the record caught on the Talkeetna River was a 72 pounder. And the Alaska state record for a sport caught King Salmon is 97 pounds. So they, you'll see we do it the same way up here too. <laughs> cabin. The last thing you were interested in doing is attracting bears to where you sleep. So this would be off in the woods somewhere. And now the cabin here, this is built out of spruce and you'd use spruce for a number of reasons. One is there's plenty of it around. It's really straight, not very thick, so easy to cut through and work with. Also holds warmth really well. So perfect for constructing a cabin. They don't taste quite as good, so a lot of people around here come winter time rely on the black bear, black bear meat in the freezer to get through. Most people won't eat grizzly bear meat 
Um, that's because grizzly bears will, you know, catch a moose, they'll eat some of it, bury it in the ground, come back two weeks later, eat some more, bury it, come back two weeks later, eat some more. And I'm told that their meat tastes like that's what they do. I've never <laughs> cared to try it myself. I've actually seen a dog offered grizzly bear meat and turn around and walk away, so that should tell you something right there. Here for you today. 